All right, Saleh, how are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah, Rafi. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, I'm doing well. Just a brief background for our listeners, you know, Saleh and me, we met back in 2018 when he was, you know, working with the uh, helping hand with the organization that I work with. And, you know, that was the first interaction that we had. And towards the end of the trip that we were there, that's when I found out that, you know, Saleh is a personal trainer. He does a lot of uh, boot camp training because, you know, like I could see his physique and Saleh was like amazing. And that's how <laughs> we kind of got, you know, and after that, I think that's what kept our relationship after helping hand going as well as the health and fitness aspect. Mashallah. <laughs> uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure knowing him. And thank you so much for, you know, taking out time to come on this podcast. Hey, um, the, the pleasure is all mine, man. And, you know, uh, with all humbleness, I'm, I'm very honored to be uh, part of this podcast and uh, talk about a little bit about fitness and, and, and all that. And, like, you know, to be honest with you, Rafi, uh, when I met you there, you know, I mean, uh, I, I met so many people. Hey, you know, what's going on? What are you doing? You know, this and this and that. But like, you know, there's no lot of follow through, you know what I'm saying? But Alhamdulillah, yeah. just now, Rafi, I mean, like for last, you know, I got his license. I don't know if he told you guys that. But I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we did. The NSA, it was in work. <laughs> you got your guys right there, Rafi, man. I mean, congratulations with your license and everything. And I, you know, from what I understand, you're also pursuing the, uh, the nutrition part. Yes, so, yes. Whole package, you know what I mean? I, you know, hey, that's the way to go. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. And And to be honest, like, it was, I've been in touch with you, you know, we've been talking about different things. We've been talking about your training style. And I know that yeah. from your background, like you have a more corporate background, you know, you had business management, that's where you studied and everything. So what got you into fitness? You know, like what got you started into training and all those things? Hey, listen, I mean, like, just growing up, I, I, I've I, always been to, into sport, right? You know I mean? I mean, you name it, I, I did it like from, from, from judo, karate to close combat, uh, from basket to tennis to soccer. You know, I, I was just prone to sport growing up. So, uh, you know, and um, I think that's just that love of the, the fitness part of it, that actually it was like a natural, you know, uh, progression to the uh, to, to the, uh, the the personal training and then, you know, all the uh, all, all the fitness stuff, you know what I'm saying? So uh, age, I think I, 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 I got really serious about like, you know, the whole sports thing when I was like around maybe like uh, 14, 15. Uh, playing basketball and everything because uh, I was very athletic at that time uh, and like you know uh, and and and, and with, you know con- you know talking with my friends and and all that stuff you know I mean like people just like kind of pushing me and all that stuff I, I it just happened like you know it, it was just a natural path to just for me to just like uh, not only go to school for a business management and an accountant um, and also just like a, uh, what you guys call a minor I just kind of yeah. look at the uh, part of it, you know, I mean, like the fitness part and all that stuff. So that's that's what got me into it. And then, you know, and uh, I was very interested in you know, just like helping people also, like, you know, um, because some people have naturally that 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 physique, you know, what I mean, and then unfortunately, people look at those people and think like, oh, I want to be like this guy. Yeah. It's not really a reality, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's not the place that actually gets you to that guy. That guy might need like a like a little bit of it to just get where you need to be for, for, for somebody else. It might just take a little bit more to get you to that sure. same, that sure. same. Yeah. Sure. So, and now how have you like, so you said sports was your main thing, right? You would love sports and you, you saw that how weightlifting and training helped you with sports. Now, yes. what have, what did you see when yourself, when you kind of like got more invested in this, you know, did it change the way you performed? Did it benefit you? Like, how were you doing and what kind of made you decide that, you know what, I want to make this better. I want to take it one step more. Yeah. So, so like sports, I mean, there's, there is no, I, I cannot say there's like a bad, like, you know, like you, you do something like you, there's always the, 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 the good and the bad. Right. And I mean, sure. for me, like when I, when I get into sport, it actually just like kind of helped me a lot with even schooling and everything, because, uh, you know, when you, when you go to school and you do sports and like, it, it, it gets you, it gets you off trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do it. You know, it's just like school and everything. That's that's yeah, that's the scholar scholar part of it. Uh, when the other thing is just like uh, health wise, you know, I I'm I'm one of the guys that don't that, that I don't get sick that often. And if I get sick, it's bad. But like I think like the fact like you know I'm, I was physically like you know there uh, helped me a lot. Just like uh, boost my human system and and and, and all that stuff. Yeah. And also 
don't understand, but like for like a, a way of 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 life, right? Uh, I think it's very important for people to just like be fit because it's allow you to be able to do a lot of stuff. You have a choice now. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's it's more about the choice, and then I wanted that. I don't want to just like go, oh, I want to do this, but I you know physically I can't. That 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 it wasn't something like I couldn't I couldn't comprehend. You know, if I wanted to play rugby, right? I, I want to play rugby, you know, I, I'll go and play rugby, right? If I wanted to play tennis, you know, I, I learned the technique and I'll go play tennis. If I, even like, let's say, if I wanted to help someone, you know I mean, moving and all that stuff, it was just like, it's just so much involved into like uh, having like a, a good physique, being fit, and then just like, a, uh, and get like, be into fitness. There's like the, 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 the pluses was, were, were piling up, sure. you know, Sure. To the you know what I'm saying, uh, and sure. and then like major minuses I I had like you know I didn't get the chance to, I mean to just hang out a lot with my 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 boys and all the stuff because sure. I I it all the time you know what I mean and but but you know it, it's just something you 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 know you wanna it's just like a, you take the you take something to and you leave something you know what I'm saying and then, and I still I still I, I'm still friend with you know these guys I mean most of them anyway and that didn't. It, it, it actually, you know, I, I call it a minus, you know, because, you know, when they were hanging out and like spending a lot of time, I was just too tired. I was home, you know, either studying, yeah, 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 yeah. but, but, you know, I, I didn't miss much like, like, per se. Yeah. So that was, that was the other thing, like just be able to just like do what I wanted to do physically saying, or like, you know, or, or, or not having like any restraint because I wasn't physically there. That's, sure. that's one sure. uh, really motivate me to just, uh, you know, take it seriously and then like see my, you know, how far I can bring it. And like, you know, at a certain point now, you know, how can I help people get to that same level? So. Sure, absolutely. And I think that's one of the biggest things that even for myself, you know, when I first started doing this weight loss journey and I realized that, you know, when I'm playing sports, it means so much different. You know, I feel better. I have more energy. It's more than just losing weight. And there was one point in my life where like, you know, I completely like dedicated my time into health and fitness. And I didn't talk to a lot of people. I was kind of MIA. And that I realized, you know, was like the short time sacrifice that you have to make because when you come out of it, you know, I mean, sure, it's in, in a really short span of time, you might upset a few people. People might be a bit disappointed and so on. But for the long run, that'll be looked behind and, you know, you'll see what you have achieved. So definitely that's something I can resonate with. My health is good. Now I'm able to, you know, put in the more work, put in more time with things, you know, and, and now, sure, I didn't spend time with people back then. Now I can spend time with them, you know, without having to put in as much effort that I did early on. Exactly. So Absolutely. I know, Sally, that for you, when we first talked, and I know, like, you've progressed a lot from that, you know, that's, that's really amazing, Mashallah, that you've progressed so much from the like past three or four years. When we really talked on, you were specializing in boot camp training, right? So you want to, like, touch a little bit on, like, what boot camp training is, because you hear this term boot camp. And suddenly, yeah. for some reason, at least for me, I think about the army, the military, you know, the Navy and the way they're trained. So how yeah. does that apply to like a normal person? So, so yeah, it actually, to be honest with you, like the, the, the actual like roots, you know, of boot camp come from the military style type right. of workout. Right? A lot of uh, crawling, jumping, you know, bending. It is running and carrying stuff. And, you know, but we, we just kind of like tone it down that's pretty much what it is so you just take that same level of like intensity workout and you just turn it down to a civilian civilian like a type of thing you know what i'm saying yeah. and like the the, the the thing about boot camp it, it, it's not like something that you do all year long you know what i mean it's just like a, a, a period of time you know what i mean so like it's it designed to just be a 30 day or 60 day or, or, or 90 days and even for the 90 days it's kind of a lot and because like those people that are actually interested in a boot camp and the reason why i designed the boot camp exercise is just like so those people that actually for some reason like uh working out in the gym doesn't do it you know what i mean they, they they want the outdoor right you know what i mean because uh they have the indoor boot camp you can do uh, but like that, that the, uh, the, the usual uh, lifting weight here, you know, you know, doing like push-ups here, and it, 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 it doesn't cut it anymore, right? So they need like something different, like something like, you know, a little bit fun, you know what I mean? Outdoor, uh, you know, and, and then that's what the boot camp is designed to do. It's just designed to get, get people to that, to that like a standardized going to the gym, working out to actually a totally different environment that actually will allow you to just like see what your your, your, your capability physically you, you can do uh, when the terrain the terrain itself 
It's yep. not hand move. There's no AC blowing <laughs> and all that. You don't stuff. you don't have a choice, but you have to work with something. <laughs> so then, and that's just what it is. And then, and then, and then, and the other group of people that actually do it also, there's like people that want to shock their body, right? Sure. So, uh, you know, they 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 already have like that. They you know they they're not they're not uh, new to the fitness world and all that stuff, but like they've been doing the same thing all the time. So they want to see what their body is capable of doing from that next level. Okay, so like you know, and then that bootcamp goes from the beginners to like intermediate to actually advanced. That's what we would do them. So like you know, the beginners are like you know, uh, like you know, the folks we talked about, like you know, they they brand new to everything, but they don't like the uh, the environment of like going to the gym. They just want to do outdoor stuff. You have, and then they just they can progress to during the ninety days, right? So bootcamp, if you look at like a, a true definition of it, it's it's just really uh, a, 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 a how how can I bring it? It's like a it's it's a program designed to actually bring some spice sure it's, it's, it's a it's a different stimulus it's the stimulus right you know it's like to, to somebody who just want to come in and then like you know i i you know i want to go jump this wall i want to go turn like this this these tires and then see what i'm capable of how many times i can turn it you know it's 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 still physical work you know what i mean but has not is a little bit unorthodox that's pretty much sure. that's what it Sure. Now, would you compare, like, you say they're very similar to, like, the training methods for, like, Tough Mudder, yes. Spartan, or any of these obstacle courses? Yes. And that's the same thing. That's that's actually really the same thing. And because what they do, they just they just do, like, those the, the same exercise they use. It's, it's the same thing they will use on, on a boot camp style, right? Uh, they just made it, like, a little bit more national. <laughs> Exactly. So, uh, and then like they also just add like other stuff, which is just crazy because like I, and I tell people like, you know, if you want to participate to those, to those tough mothers and everything, yeah, you, you want to just like, like your regular boot camp in your small corner, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then learn to actually adapt your body to that first before you go to that, to the, to that next level. You can go, I'm not saying don't go, but you know, <laughs> you'll be surprised the next day <laughs> your body will just ask for like a, a lot of rest for like the next two weeks. Uh, but, but then again, you know, like I say, it's just like everybody, what you feel comfortable with. Right. So, but like, you know, the tough mothers, you know I mean? And all those, all those guys, they, they, they it's the same uh, style uh, thing they use. That's the reason why uh, even myself, if I design a boot camp, I, it depends on the city, right? Because you have to have the area and, 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 and some area that you actually, you can actually do that. You know what right. I mean? Because, I'm leaving right now. If I wanted to do boot camp, it's not, it's, it's not possible because the residential area, <laughs> nothing, it's all houses. You won't have all the stuff that you need to actually just make it like a very efficient, cap, you know, uh, half hour to 45 minutes, whatever it might be, workout. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Reason why, when I design, I always ask, you know, the, the trainers, they want a program. Hey, where, where do you live? What do you have there? What type of facility do you have? What type of outdoor, what it like, looks like? Because all the excited for them why designed for them is just like you know uh really correlate correlated to what type of surface you have it, sure. it, it's the same thing that they use on on the other you know the tahmari and all the stuff but it, it also had to just really be uh geographically you know designed for that area you know? so it could be done in any space but it's optimal for uh, to have like a lot of these different exactly Okay. So now, now, now that's interesting. You put that matter. Now you see that a lot of these people that are in tough mother, well, not a lot, but like tough mother has all kinds of people. You know, you have people who are extremely aesthetic, who are extremely in shape. And some people who are like just their first tough mother, they have a belly, they're not in shape. Now, how does boot camp play a role in, let's say, building muscle or is it more for conditioning? Where do you put boot camp? I, w- I wouldn't put boot camp more like for like building muscle. Sure. It's, it's more conditioning than anything else, okay. you know, because, uh, they, they, and you just mentioned it, right? Like even like those, those, uh, those people, they actually sometimes go to like, uh, and then you see them like with the belly and everything, right? <laughs> boot camp, right? You see them like they're at the, uh, at the finish line. And yeah. it's big, uh, it, but they might not have the body that you, you, you think, oh my God, he's going to get, he's going to die halfway through the thing. But <laughs> like they, they did it so many times, the conditioning is there. For them to be able to actually also, you know, finish the 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 the, the, the actual parkour, and 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 that's the reason why it's not really about like a, I mean, the physical part, the muscle part is actually a plus plus plus, sure. but really it's not designed. You know, you have you don't have to be like a, a Hercules to just actually be able to go through all that stuff. You know what I mean? If you just if you're willing to just go through the pain 
of dragging your belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I can also imagine because even like even for example like people who run marathons and stuff like that. Yes. Not, unless you're at, at like an Olympic level, you don't yeah. really find every single person who participates in the extremely best shape. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because like it's all conditioning, right? I mean, like because uh, if you look at like a uh, uh, because but there's two there's two different ways to look at this, right? Some people just do the 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 the, the fitness thing just like to be to, to to be good, like you know they feel good. Doesn't matter how how their body shape is, right? They yeah. they just do go to work and don't have to just, like take five stairs, ten stairs, and just <laughs> they just, yeah, yeah. just want to like be able to just like carry their weight and not have to spend too much calorie. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a, I worry about like an effort to just like uh, do so. You know what I mean? And it works for them. You know what I'm saying? But like you know, others want the next level, right? Not only they want to do that, but they also want to have their body start shaping to the type of body they like, you know, mm-hmm. and that thanks conditioning and all that stuff, you know, come to play, you know what I mean? And then not only that, and then believe it or not, and we probably will talk about it later, people, and, and I'm just going to give it to people right now, it's just like, honestly, like, even in all fitness, 90% of the, your result doesn't come on how much bench you, you press, how much, you, yeah. what, yeah. doesn't come from that, you, you know what I'm saying? And we'll talk about it later on. And yeah, people, yeah. If I go to the ISA, I can, I can, I can bench 315 or I'm, I'm, I'm all that. No, it's, it's not that, you know what I mean? Uh, like when it comes to the body shape of your body and everything, it's totally different to what's going on in your, in your heart, you know what I mean? The, yeah. the you know, conditioning and all that stuff. So. so let's, I mean, let's, because you kind of initiated the conversation, we can de- definitely jump into it because it was in my mind as well. The yes. nutrition side of things, right? Now, how does that play a role? Let's say we're doing boot camp, right? Someone does boot camp for 60 days. And yes. now in boot camp, my understanding is that you burn a lot of calories in one session. You do. So how does that entail with your body composition or like for someone who wants to lose weight, put on yes. muscle and is dedicated to just that, that time frame? But see, there's a very elementary, elementary, elementary uh, uh, concept when it comes to lose weight, right? Yeah. So if you look at a basket, okay, full of fruit, sure. okay? You put three fruit, you take two fruit. You put three fruit, it's, that, it's going to keep expanding. That's the whole thing. Yeah, so you, have to, you have to do the opposite, right? You have to take three fruit and put two. Sure. And take two, put two. And then that's, that's, that's the whole thing about calorie intake and calorie, you know, sure. uh, burn, right? So if you if you are somebody, because you, you, you have to know what your calorie burn at rest is. So like if you wake up in the morning, you have a breakfast, you 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 go to work, there's nothing physical that you're doing, let's say like like extra physical, but like sure. because what physical, but like you know, you your your normal day, right? I mean you so burn calories just breathing. So it's big for you for being you, right? So you have to know what that is first, right? And then okay, so that's what your daily uh in general calorie burn is. You have to have that. And then now you say okay. So what I what did I eat? What did I usually eat on a on a daily basis? Okay, but you you gotta, you gotta separate those day, Monday through Thursday. And I said and, and I explain why I say Monday through Thursday and Friday Saturday Sunday have to have a different it's different target. Yeah. So Monday through Thursday, this is I I my intake is like you know let's say you know two thousand calorie a day. Okay, but I burn on a regular day if I don't nothing, I burn only fifteen hundred calorie. Okay, so. If you calculate that, you know, I mean, the, just the first four days of the week, you already have 2,000 calorie excess that you're not burning. Sure. Because, and then the weekend is not right because the weekend is actually the worst. You know, sure. because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the, the calorie intakes are always the, 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 the you know, where it's more and all the stuff. So, like, if we if, bring coming back to the subject, it's just like, when when you do boot camp, right? You go and you just like burn so many calories, right? right. Come back, but you didn't you just know eat it all. Exactly, you come back and you think, okay, I I worked out so hard today, I was almost almost vomited on that thing, but now I'm gonna just get that biryani and add the and, and the chicken and everything, and all of a sudden, and then like the, we did the worst way because we did it like at the time of the day that we need the least calorie. Hmm. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Because like. Yeah. Uh, when you go to boot camp, like even like if you go like in the morning, it happens in the morning, right? They, when they got like, now, you, now you're eating like around the time that you have to have less calorie intake. Evening time, the, basically, when you're winding down, yeah. 
Exactly, because you want your calorie, the, your biggest intake, because we all did that. We all the same. The, the whole humanity did the same thing. Yeah. We, uh, the, the calorie intake, the biggest one has to be in the morning because it gives you the whole day to burn that. Energy, yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and logically, if you go midday, that you got to cut that by half. You go by night, you got to cut it by the third, right? And then you just, so because all you need, like really at night, is like something that keep you to the fasting of the of the night, like because when yeah. you sleep, you when you just sleep, yep. But we don't have that. We 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 go like you know. I'm gonna go today at the masjid. The talk is at at seven o'clock, right? At seven thirty yeah. to or seven forty five. By eight thirty, like food, and then at nine o'clock, that's when we start eating. <laughs> and then and you're gonna see everybody have like the plate full of food. But guess what? They're gonna do at ten o'clock. Yeah. They only, you know, what I'm saying that calorie intake doesn't get burned. That much when you sleep in, it gets burned, right. but it much has what you just put in, and that's the problem. So, like, if for so for that person who's doing the boot camp and burn all that calorie, my my suggestion is this: if you if your boot camp is in 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 the morning, right? So, right after the boot camp, you know, what I mean, just have trying to get your biggest meal at that time. Sure, you know. And and just like uh, and then and then and meal and I don't know, I know it's, it's tedious but calorie count if you look at to, to lose weight is a must. Sure. You sure. Absolutely. Estimate how many calories I ate today or how many calories I burned today. It has to be all written on paper and sure. follow up all that stuff. Especially until you get used to it and you kind of have an idea okay. of what. You want. And then you can just kind of you know put it there, right? And and then like in the, if your boot camp is in the in the afternoon. So I suggest like you ate all your calorie that you need before you get there in the morning. So when you get there, you know you burn as much as you can, and then the the the, the recovery part is that doesn't doesn't take that much still. You know you know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. And that's that's what it is because like you know uh, whether you 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 trying to go conditioning or you are trying to um, you know you are trying to um, uh, 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 shape up and lose weight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's always good to just not destroy all the calories you just gained by working out so hard. You know what I'm saying? You just have to sure. leave some. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the biggest thing is that like people sometimes think that, oh, I'm burning. Let's say if I have to eat 1500 calories and I'm already burning 500 calories so I can eat that 500 calories and still be at 2000, but you're not really burning anything, you know? And I know, I know this is what you mentioned. And I think this is your recommendation that they eat the biggest meal in the morning and later at night. But some people, what they usually do is like, they like to have a nice dinner. So yep. maybe in that case, they can have less calories in the day yes. and have a nice dinner right after, because again, that's all about the calorie management <laughs> rather than like you're trying to stuff it up every single time you have a big meal. Yeah. And, 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 and but what, I, what I would add to that also, like even if you, if you, if you're going to have a nice dinner, just like uh, just have a mental note that, you yes. know what I mean? You know, even if I had burnt all that calorie throughout the, the day, right? And I'm going to just have like a 1500 calorie dinner or like a thousand calorie dinner, whatever it might be, 500 calorie dinner, okay? But think about this. Your body, your body will always utilize what it needs. Sure. You can put like a 300 calorie or 700 calorie, it will, it will, it will use what it needs okay. to act going. Because like now anything that's not utilized, it just it's carbs that's getting stored for like further request of you know for the energy request of the body. If you want to have a, a a good dinner, have a good dinner. But like wake up the next day and you're like, okay, shit, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta just really kill it today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just yeah. to make up for like whatever I like what you did early in the morning before the dinner. It's most like now, more importantly, what you're gonna do after the dinner. You know what I mean? The next sure. day after, and just to get that that thing going. But like I say, it's 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 tedious. But like, if you want to succeed, that's 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 that's, that's a commitment you, you're willing to do, and then like that, that's something that you just need to sacrifice, you know, uh, time wise to just like uh, uh, get that calorie count and you know get that absolutely. Uh, and that's something I recommend to a lot of my friends too. Like you know, I always tell them an extreme end of things, and yeah, I always yeah. tell them, look, this is only for this one month. Yes, for one yeah. month, touch no sugar. For one month, you know, be very those are calories. Because once that first month passes, then yeah. you will see how it's easier for you to kind of adjust and be flexible. But if you start being flexible from the start, it may not take you to your goals. You know, you'll be more relaxed from the start and that's going to kind of throw you away. 
Absolutely, absolutely. And then like, you know, I, I, it's, that's funny thing you mentioned about the 30 days. Uh, it's just like, in, in, even in our dean, right? Yeah. For, for yeah. You, don't think it takes like 29 to 30 days. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep, absolutely. Just like, uh, you know, us being Muslim and understanding all this stuff, you know what I mean? And it, it, would, it would make your job much easier because like, you know, trust me, if there's a lot of correlation, like even like the fasting of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? you know, Monday, Thursday has one meaning, but like even in your own body, the Monday, yeah. Thursday, also his own meaning. So there's, it's, it's, there's nothing is there for just to be there. You know what I mean? It's, it's a- all purposeful. Covered a lot about boot camp because that's how I got to know you. And now over the past few years, you've transitioned to a different types of training as well. I don't know, recently you started up Safari Fitness. You want to yeah. talk a little bit about like what that is, how is it different and how does that correlate into health and fitness, you know? Yes, so so the, the, the Safari Fitness, is actually, I was doing like and parallel with like the, the boot camp because uh, like I say, in, 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 in the world of fitness, like, you know, every day you will you'll have different clients like some people are more interested in this type of you know uh workout or 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 or, or, or you know fitness type of thing the other people will be more interested in that and other people like we just like what the private session one-on-one and then you know they can do the stuff with them so like uh uh with the uh, safari fitness dance uh what i it's it, it just kind of like <laughs> i was just sitting in and uh a friend of mine sent me a video of like uh uh, we have what you call in 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 Senegal, uh, where the country I, I, I'm from, which yeah. is called the Sabar is S A B A R, right? Sabar. And then what that means is like a, it's just like, it's like a big circle, right? It's like a big, big, big circle of people, right? It's from a big circle, and then they have like the people they like play the tom tom in the middle. <laughs> the, the instrument, yep. We'll go inside and then just like and then and then I mean like the way they dance is is so powerful, you know what I mean? And it's so strong. You can see the power. You can see it. And I'm watching this thing. And all of a sudden, it clicked in my head. It's like, you know, like, look at how much energy they they spending. You know what I mean? And then what they do, they get into the, the, the middle of the circle for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. And I can tell you, I bet you they burn hundreds of calories because such a powerful move they didn't say. So I'm like, well, how about this? So I'm like, I take the same move. I learned the same move, but I'm, I, I put it like more on a, on a fitness perspective sure. that I can do. I mean, anybody can do. I simplify it, but what I do now, it's like, okay, so I just take the move like, like a, that involves more of the upper body, right? So we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll just transform it and I just like use a regular upper body workout that we do. And I just like kind of make it like, like transition to a, a music style type of dance so i just do also something for the for the abs for the core and everything i did for the legs so at a certain point i already designed all the exercise that i wanted and i put it like you know I, and i and i also like recorded all the moves that i wanted there so mm-hmm. now it's just the, the 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 right type of music that will go with it that actually when people listen to it because it's just like it's like it's like a play game right people listen to it when the music play they forget about the pain that actually going on right now for doing the exercise. Yeah. That's how, how I actually took a lot of people to just take the class. But the class, and the, and, the, and the funny thing is like, when I first touched the class, the first week I actually, I present the class to Workout World because I was working for Workout World at that time. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, the dance class that I, that I, that I came up with, I, I want to try. They, 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 they were like kind of uh, not there because they have a, uh, what's called Zumba and all that stuff. Sure, yeah. So everybody was like, ah, no, no, we're sad. We know we, just, we already have this class <laughs> going on and everything. Like, fine. So I, I didn't say anything. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't push the bond. So I just like, okay. So what I did though, I get all the uh, personal trainer at that time. At uh, some point, I'm like, okay, guys, this is what I want you guys to do, right? Uh, because I really want to get this thing going. But like, you know, you guys already fit. You 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 understand like the fitness. You understand like the body parts is going to be involved in everything. I want you guys to just take this class with me. You know what I mean? I'll teach the class. You guys there and you let me know what you think okay so i put them all in the class but like but at that time it was like about eight or nine of them so sure. we the uh the group x class and then I, I i i i did only one song with that and the second the song was over they all like you know you know like when they <laughs> I'm like, so now what so it's like this is crazy and it's just like, this is crazy. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta let them just teach this class. So I'm like, okay, well, let's do this. So instead of just having them teach this class, I like me going back there asking to teach the class, I'm gonna just give a free entrance for absolutely anybody that wants to try it. Sure. And try it. 
So the first week, because I, I want to do like a four weeks trial for everybody. So the four week, the first four, the first week, I have about 12 people that actually joined the class. So, but by the second week, because I had it the same time the next week, it jumped from 20, uh, 12 people, and I have about 27 people in the class. So like it goes wow. like from here, right? So by the fourth week, I had 75 people inside the room. Wow. And this is just only one. And this is only, I'm doing only one thing. This is like a 15 minute, like one song, 15 minute workout. And then I have- Like a high people. intensity 15 minute. Intensity. It's the intensity of the 15 minute. And it's a, it's a full body motion. You know, yeah. you know, that cardio is there, you know, the leg workout is there it, and it's good for your leg. I mean, and, and the whole thing is like, it was, it was not a class just for your, 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 your advanced people. Because even like the people that actually never want to go to the gym for anything, it, it, it was fun for them. You know what I mean? Sure. Because I have like a, we have like a, a exercise that we modify so they can actually be part of it. Like the choreography or, or being part of a choreography. You know what I mean? That that one of those things that actually drive people to actually come to the to the class. You know what I mean? And 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 I did it for like a two three years, but like it was so intense because when I teach the class, I'm there with them, and right. then I went like once a week to twice a week, to three times and four times. And then my body took a big toll on that because like, you know, like my knees are getting hurt and all that stuff. Yeah, so, you can imagine. Uh, yeah, at some point, two, three years back, I just kind of, you know, like, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I'll train some trainers if they want to still teach it. And then they can, they can just <laughs> get with it. I, I can, I'm getting old, I cannot do this anymore. But like, you know, but that was just like more to, uh, to cater to the other uh, uh, population. They're like, you know, it, it's not your typical, uh, let's go do kickboxing there. Let's go do this. It's just like, you know, hey, I want to, you know, I want, you know, I like to Zumba type of star class, right? I need like the safari fitness dance class. Though that, that's the reason why I, I created that. that, that, that and it was purely class. body weight. No, no weights involved. Like some of these dance <laughs> classes, they have some weights, some equipment. It's it's all you against your own body weight. Because the, 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 the whole idea of even, even my style of training it doesn't involve a lot of weight because uh, for me, it's just like uh, you should be able to, before I add any weight or anything, you should be able to handle your own body weight first. You know what I mean? If you don't handle your own body weight, I'm not going to add anything to it. You're not yeah. there yet. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Definitely. And by any of the, any of the, the even the one on one I do, um, the max weight I use is a five pounder. Uh, and then just like to get you get to get some resistance, but that but that's about it. Now when you get comfortable, and then now you can just like go on for a run with me. You can just you know like kind of follow me, and then be on that same pace. Or then yeah, okay. Now let's talk about weight, adding weight, adding more. You know that's 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 the thing. So like uh, safari didn't involve any weight, and I and I told people that were like very advanced in that class, is like hey, feel free to use a, either the two pounder or three pounder. So like when the arms work out, we do, so you can actually more add more resistance. But like for majority of class, it was just like, you know, a regular, you know, just them going there, have fun, uh, burn a lot of cardio, uh, and then, you know, burn a lot of calorie, and then like just a ton of cardio in it. And then, and then just like be feel good about yourself. That's, that's, that's I like that. I like the slow progression, you know, because people always underestimate the body weight. And oh, I yeah, thought no. like we need some heavy weights, but hey, if you do like a hundred squats, hundred push-ups, hundred pull-ups, yeah, you'll know what it feels like. Exactly, and that's and that's what I tell people. I mean, it's just like uh, don't be in a hurry to say, oh, I can I can curl fifty pounder, I can curl forty five pounder. Then then what? How many curls can you do on fifty pounds? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's just like it's one of those situations. You know, you're not a bodybuilder. You're trying to just be fit. You know what I mean? Which is a totally different story, right? So it's, I I'd rather do do push-ups, right? Do pull-ups. Yeah. Yeah. You know, work with your own body weight until your strength, you know, just you know, the ratio between your strength and your body weight is almost equal to one. You know what I mean? Right. Then you, and then you can add like more resistance by just getting to weight and all that stuff. So I know, I know an athletic trainer. He is based out of Virginia. His name is Fadis Khan. I don't know. You may <laughs> have heard about him, but so he's an athletic trainer, right? He's a sports trainer. He trains people for their sports and everything. So he always like, even though he lifts weights and stuff, He's always posting videos of like how he's trying to get like 50 pull-ups, 50 weighted pull-ups, you know, and, and that's like so important because even for someone at his level, he has a yeah. target that he wants to like kind of get into because it's not that easy. No, it's not easy. It's not, none of that is easy. I mean, whether that's just like, a, and, and that's the whole thing, right? And in the world of fitness, that's really, really the point, right? So I can do 10 push-ups today. So tomorrow I want to do 11. 
then the next day I want to do like 12 exactly. or like the two days from the end. It's not the progression. That's what you're looking for. And that's what gets you to that level you have to do. But you cannot just wake up in the morning, only be able to do five and then say, tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to do 15 push-ups. Because what's going to happen, you might go to 15 push-ups that first day, but you're not going to come back tomorrow and try to do it again. <laughs> even, the five, already burned out. Exactly, even the five that you could before, for you, it's too much now. Because in your head, the pain of getting the 15 in, that's the only thing that your psyche is, is registering. Yeah. Nothing else. So like now, even like you lose, you lost the fight that you could do on a daily basis because you just actually over, overdo yourself. And, and then that's what I tell my, 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 most of my, my clients, you know, don't, don't be in a hurry because if you're in a hurry, you're in a wrong class and you are, we are working with the wrong trainer because that's sure. not. And that's, that's just, not, the, that's just that's a part of it. You know, with health and fitness, it's just a part of progression. And I know that I know that you started off with boot camp and you did the safari fitness. And now that, you know, you're kind of like in that space of like, you know, getting people to their best shape possible. You also have a background now from, from sports cupping. And yes, I know yeah. that we also know from a religion that it's, it's, it's a prophetic tradition to do cupping yeah. and a lot of, and now these days, a lot of mainstream Olympians, bodybuilders, oh, athletes, wow. and, any of those, right? Olympians, bodybuilders, athletes, a lot of these people are doing cupping in their day-to-day -day routine. Yes. So what has your experience been as to like, what, what does cupping provide for a normal human being and why should everyone try to incorporate it part of their lives? So, so for the cupping part, actually the funny story is like a, a friend of my wife, um, um, she's a, uh, you know, a lady who actually, you know, was resided in, uh, in, in Medina, Mecca. Uh, Medina, and then uh, she came. She actually moved back to the U.S. And then, like, uh, she, what she realized is that there wasn't a lot of male that can do hijama and cupping mm -hmm. around this area. So uh, uh, she suggested, like, you know, I should do it. You know, what I mean, so actually, you know, if the man wanted to get it done, it can it can be done. Uh, you know, in our area, and then not have to just travel far to get it done. So I end up like signing up with uh, uh, they actually from uh, England. Uh, because we don't have really a, 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 uh, how can I say, like, uh, institute. institution. Yeah, an institution here to just like to, 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 to teach that, especially the hijama part, because like, like you know, being this like, but in England they did. So uh, I, I spent about three to six months with them. And then, uh, you know, I, I went through that whole thing. And then uh, it, it's just, it, it's, it's so, it's, how can I say, it's, 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 it's the right thing to do because like your body, like, like it's any engine, right? It's like a, it's like a tuning, tuning up an engine. That's right. just pretty much. So like, mm -hmm. and then they start, start some said, right? There are some point that your body like get all that toxin that's like sitting there and it's that, it's not getting released as fast in the regular system of like urinating or whatever. So, and then because like it's under the skin, you know what I mean? To be able to just like uh, take them out, you know, the cup in, it was like one of the, one of the most efficient way used at that time by the prophet and, and, and all the sahabas and everything to get it done. You know what I mean? And like, you know, when you do sports cupping, like, you know, it's not really hijama, you know, because it's the same technique, but it's not hijama because what it does is just like the, 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 the muscle contusion that you have for just like working out and like, you know, the muscle contracting, relaxing and everything. You just allow that muscle to just actually develop in that same compartment that it is. You know what I'm saying? So like, a, like say, sure. if you look at your rhomboid in the back, right? And then that's what most of the people have that issue in the back because that's that's where your core is actually built up, right? And your abs and your back. So like uh, that area, if you can actually allow the muscle to just like expand and have more room, you know what I mean? And then have fresh air coming up there. That's what the sliding cupping is, which is like what's called the sports cupping, right? Sure. So what it would put it and then they just elevate those muscle up. So like the oxygen can actually just go in and then just like allow those muscles to actually just expand. And that's what really, what we, what really has a sports cupping, that's actually what really people need. We just like get more oxygen to the, uh, to the, to the, to the muscle. So the muscle can actually really, you know, uh, like get developed and get stronger. You know what I mean? And that's the reason why we see like the, 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 the swimmers, yeah. they will those specific spot that they, they are. Yeah. And then follow the, 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 the vertebrae, right? The, the, yep. So like, and then the reason why, because all the muscle get attached to that and that area. So you're going to open up that area. What it does is just open up that whole back. So like for like that, that extension and that strength building 
could just just get there. So and then like seeing that for me, it's just like uh, I wanted to just do that. But first of all, it was just more for the hijama part of it. You know what I mean? Because I have a lot of friends here. Um, they, you know, they were interested in it uh, more than 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 anything any, you know, on, on the sport part. You know what I mean? So like you know, uh, for me, it's just like uh, if like I know you're doing the nutrition part, yeah. and I would love to get you the link, and sure. and then. And then get that certified because, like, trust me, you you're gonna need it. Like, even like you know, if just like for the massage technique before that, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot. It's a lot of learning that you know that's actually very beneficial for you, especially as a personal trainer that's gonna be in that field. Uh, and then getting those those are uh, either you know those uh, those are uh, athletes like uh, school uh, school uh, kids that you know they play sure. football, whatever it might. Be. No, definitely, because in the past three to five years, I've seen a lot of spike in a lot of professional athletes. Michael Phelps first came out with it. A lot yes, of these yeah. big athletes, they have like the marks on their back. And everyone's like, you know, I think they think Michael Phelps came out with it. But like the problem is that because he's so known yeah. that that Olympics that year. And it's like, it looks like like a <laughs> extraterrestrial. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just kind of, you know, blow out at that yep. point. But like, we as a Muslim, we've been doing it like for the 40 Yeah, exactly. Like when I first saw that post, I was like, I already know what this is. Like exactly. <laughs> a lot of people, it was, it was new. So, uh, you know, I, you know, and that's a good thing that actually it, it popped up that way for like a, a, an American athlete that's just so decorated, uh, you know, you know, with the medals and all the stuff to just use it as a, a, a way for him to just like, because a bit like the competition, it was like very a short time. So sure. that's a lot. It's recuperate like so fast, so they have to, they, you know. And he started to doing that, and he realized, oh my God, this is this is the this is what I'm gonna do every time. Right. And then he just kind of sell it to the uh, to the media and all that stuff. But you know, for hours, it's just like okay, yeah. But we know that. we already like, know the benefits for it. But like, but has I think it has most and what we don't do well in this country is just like kind of all this stuff that we learn and we know, and that's like half wise. That's been t- that's been taught by the by by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, this in the Quran and all the stuff. We don't just I mean, get it out there for people to see. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. And and I've realized that over the past few years, like it's not just swimming now. A lot of athletes, people in different bodybuilders, you know, been Mr. Olympia competitors and so on. Oh, yeah. Everyone yeah. like people bodybuilders, you know, Mr. Olympia competitors and so on. They're all using cupping, you know, at some point, cold baths, cupping, ice bags, heat massage, like everything is cup coming together for them. Every- yeah, I mean, and just like, and it all is all like a reset button. That's that's all it is. You know, you just put your body in the reset button, just to recuperate, and then have that shock, and then just like rejuvenate, reju- rejuvenate. That's 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 pretty much that's what it is, and that's what all those all those, and that's the reason why I wanted to just make sure I take that. You know what I mean? Even though I don't use it, you know what I'm saying? Like you know, the, the, as much as I want to, you know what I mean? But it's just a thing to have. It's a good to have. Absolutely. Now, Salah, I know we talked a lot about like boot camp training, you know, your safari fitness, the dance training aspect of it. And those are all like, these are all like meaning like endurance based, strength based cardio and so on. What is some advice you would say or something that you've experienced that when it comes to building strength and incorporating these forms of cardio and even like the other side of health, which is cupping, what is like the yeah. best route? You know, like, do you say that everyone should have some aspect of it? Or depending on goals, people should take one route more than the other. No, I think like one one thing I I, I refuse to just buy into like with the fitness was like a one size fits all. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think it's very important that people to know like uh, depending on your body body type and and honestly also like uh, your your like area the area that your descendant this descendant type. You know what I mean? Because if some area some people from some area just are strong people, it's just it's not me. It's just the way it is, right? Uh, and for that person who wants to just build strength or anything, it's totally different for the person who come from like you know, an area they're not that strong. You gotta just like there's more to it than 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 that. So like for me, it's just like that 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 first session that I have with you, that I'm talking to you and asking you about you know, uh, you know, family history, like you know, like what you like to do, and you know, all the like like the I call it like the one hour. You know, yeah. let me other and all that stuff how we're we gonna do it that determine like you know what type of program i'm gonna put for you you know what i'm saying uh that doesn't mean like what type of what type of uh what area uh, we're gonna focus more because some people you can focus more on cardio and that the other part the strength part will come along because they don't need that much help on the strength sure. part sure. some other that are 
you know, because like I said, you know, you, you just go on a strength part and then just like, you know, take on a cardio because otherwise they're going to just run away. They're never going to come back because they're not used to a lot of cardio. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, like I say, it's just like, a, it's a, it's, 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 it's a person based, man. It's, it's, it's nothing like, you know, one size fits all. It's just like, it might work for you. It might not work for him. I think, but like, works for absolutely everybody is the nutrition part, which sure. is not the time five people succeed or fail yep absolutely and i 100 percent agree with that right and now what i wanted to know from you is that now in this whole pandemic it has changed the dynamic for a lot of people even now yes. after things have re- things have relaxed a lot people still don't go to the gym people yes. still don't have access to proper equipment or whatsoever for those yes. kind of people you know who want to like start up their fitness journey even yes. now with limited access Yes. What would you say is like what what exercises should they kind of focus towards and how do they nutrition play a role in their in their fitness journey? Yes. So for me, it's just like uh, this is what I look at. Right. So it's, it's, all, it's all about commitment, too. Right. So, uh, you know, even the pandemic is, is, is been there. I mean, those people who really want to just get to that a certain level, they, they did. I mean, you, you got to come out with like some some type of way to replace the gym with something. Right. Okay. So. And then like the plyometrics is, is the best when it comes to cardio. That's just a given, you know what I mean? Uh, but also they're like the most tough one, you know what I mean? Because it's 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 a short amount of time and you want so much calorie, right? Uh, and then depending on what you're trying, what your goals are, you know what I mean? Adding plyometrics with like strength training. And then the strength training, it really, you don't need a lot of, lot, of, lot of knowledge. You just need the basic stuff, right? So because like, you know, if you look at like uh, like the sit-up, right? The push-ups, like, you know, the overhead press, the triceps kick back and, 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 and all those stuff, like, you know, uh, the bicycle kick. Those, those, these are, are really, you know, you know like small basic exercise that can maintain you and then get you also very strong. You just have to know how to just break it down throughout the exercise or throughout that hour or an hour and a half or 45 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever time that you have. And then just like, and then just do a progressive thing, right? You know, if you like Monday to Friday, I'm going to only do like a 30 push up, this, this, this much. Okay. But like next week, I'm going to go to 35 push ups and everything because I'm start building this up. You know what I mean? And for for me, like uh, like the the, the effect that it will have in on personal training is just like you know, is is just like if that person cannot adapt to that the new, the new reality of like you know being face to face with their with their client, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna lose out of business and they're gonna they're not gonna be there, right? So for me, it's just like what I end up doing, I just like to have like a FaceTime type of type of work, okay? And then we will just probably meet once a week, right? Uh, like privately and all the stuff so i can just like see or work on what we're going to be working this coming week or like whatever if we do facetime right so like i say some people don't have to have somebody there sure it's, they just need somebody to be there They're accountability like, no. is big accountability right so but like a, but like the 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 covid we we, we 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 can use it as an excuse and then that's how I, and then honestly it's just like for me it's an excuse but you know any any like uh, three by six mat, you know, should be enough for somebody to just really they need and you know day in and and then day out, you know what I mean? And then like if you need any 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 type of okay, I need like oh what workout I can do? Trust me, you go to Google, they all there, <laughs> you know. But like I say, for what like I say, and then and then like we talked about right, the the issue is more commitment. And, and 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 actually in everything when it comes to fitness it's, it's all about commitment you know what i mean uh, i seen people you know paying like hundreds of dollars for for session but they're not committed they right. just which is because they're like oh i have a personal trainer or i have i'm doing this you know what i mean and now i'm doing that and two or three months later uh they just move on to something else you know what i mean and you have you have those people but they will give you their money but they will be in if they're gonna crawl themselves out of the out of the studio after you're done they, they would be there and those are the committed people and if, well, quite frankly as a personal trainer it's not about the money you're giving me it's just like you know to just, i want to see a result you know right. what I mean? because my work is getting done in you and the people are looking at you like you know i'm the one doing this yeah. for me it's very important that, that you know you committed to this and then and you your just results like, show because then that's going to affect you as a as a client exactly. and me as a coach because you're not <laughs> listening to me and people are going to see that i'm not doing my job so it kind of like correlates into definitely. That's what I would take a committed committed client uh, that pay less than a not committed client. They just like throw his money at me. 
because uh, it's uh, in the long run, that's just your name that's going to be out there being 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 like you know distorted. So absolutely. Now, Sally, before we wrap up, I have one final question for you. One person, dead or alive, that you want to train with, or you would you would like to like train or be be with them in that space. So if there's one person I really want to train with, it'll be uh, Dwayne Johnson. Wow. Okay. That's a yes. first. Yeah, so uh, because uh, he, there's a guy I have a lot of respect uh, because uh, I don't watch wrestling because that's just too, too, too fake for me. For, for the listeners who don't know, Dwayne Johnson is The Rock. So, <laughs> The Rock. Yeah, exactly. So I, I would love, love to share. I know I can never keep up with him, but I would love to share even like a 15, 20 minute work out work out yeah, with him. For that work ethic, absolutely. Now, so I, I, I'm not sure, but if you do, you have a social media? You have a uh, Instagram or I, Facebook. I have Facebook, and then like I mean, I'm too old. I don't know Instagram and all. But one stuff. thing I wanted to ask you, touch on that before we wrap up, is that how are you? How are you surviving? How has your success rate been in this world of social media? You know, you have influencers, you have yes. people doing this and that. Like, how is how is that helping you? Yes, to be honest with you, I I I never. Um, just quite lately, I got people like just just calling me as a hey uh I need a trainer and everything. And I'm like, well, where do you, where do you get my number? Yeah. Oh, I looked at this, this thing They you're one of the, you know, the top five, they came in and everything. I'm like, I don't even know that thing exists. So who are you? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. but I, I honestly, honestly, Rafi, I don't, I, my, all my stuff been already, always been like, you know, from, uh, you know, people that train with me sure. and tell and then they use it on their Facebook and, 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 or whatever, whatever thing they have. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, even like the video I used to have in YouTube, I don't even see them anymore because I used to have like Safari videos yeah. in YouTube. Yeah. I, I save them, so I don't even know where they are. So if you ask me, like, you know, I, I, you might find like one or two there, um, but that's about it. You know, honestly, it's just like uh, for me, I'm not, I'm not to, to the to that thing that like I have to have people. So like uh, all my private, even my clients, they, they're so private, you know what I mean? They don't know. Because like I have one that's actually a very known personality in our, in our, in our, Muslim community. Okay. You know I mean? awesome. and I'm, I'm training privately. He lost 40 plus pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Know? I can but imagine. Let people know that, you know, like go to him and ask, hey, how did you lose this? Not nobody knows I'm the one actually behind yeah. him. Everything because uh it's I, I'm beside my wife, obviously. Um, but it's it's just one of those things. I'm not like you know, I I don't put myself out there like you know, hey, uh, come train with me. This and this. It's just like you know, hey, if you have my number from someone, that's because that person is is, is happy with what I did with them. So uh, you know, I'd rather have like uh the five, uh, the two, three, five people that regular I regular clients, exactly regular client, and like just having like a uh, my name all out there, and and it doesn't mean nothing because you know, I I just turn down like a, a whole family they wanted to train with me because i i don't even have time because i work i have a full-time job sure and it's like you know just to stay in the game and you know and help out the best i can and you know to the people that i think like you know need need the most help so but that's awesome now the audience is listening if any of if any of them want to work with you or reach out to you where can they find you and what I, are the channels i'm sorry but i'm not taking any parts any, anyone okay <laughs> <laughs> but hey I'm, I'm, if if you do if you do in the future how can they reach out to you yes so they can just get to you so uh you okay. you up and everything and then uh, they can they can reach out to you but like i can i can i'll be very honest honest like i say i've been i've been turning down people and like i say even myself i get to the point now my wife is actually designing uh uh workout for me like a awesome. and just for, to get me back uh, to the to the to the, my old old self of me <laughs> if I, so your wife is also in this space as well no no he's not she's just like a, because i mean you know what i'm what i'm capable of and then like uh, for some reason like uh you know uh not for some reason but like uh, she works very very hard and then like thank god she 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 at the, at the point of life that she 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 get to the, the way that she wanted and she's 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 more athletic than than me i can just say that it's just like I, I she will she will kick my butt <laughs> if I go on one on one on her and any any anything. So which is like you know I, I'm I'm very proud of her and then uh, okay. she's uh, the reason why you know uh, I I you know I just have this thing going just trying to stay uh, fit and everything because uh, you know she she is my biggest supporter you know what I mean That's and. Awesome. 
for that, I will just always be thankful to that. So that's awesome. All right, Salih, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. I really enjoyed the conversation. It was really nice to know the inside of the boot camp and you know how everything that goes behind it. Uh, so thank you. And listen, I, you know, I one of these days I might get an online trainer. So I'll just call. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna call you and be like, hey, what are you doing? Let me learn. <laughs> <laughs>